marking the funeral service in Madison from Moody County Sheriff Ken Prorock, who was killed in the line of duty just last week. About 2,000 people expended to attend, a number so big the funeral has been moved from the Dakota Playhouse to the Dakota State University Fieldhouse. A significant portion of that crowd expected to be law enforcement officers paying their respects. John Gaskins talked to the leaders of law enforcement in Sioux Falls and joins us with that story here at 6 o'clock. John. Brian, potentially a thousand law enforcement officers from as far as New York City will be at tomorrow's service. Representation from both the Sioux Falls Police Department and Minnehaha Sheriff's Office will be strong. At least a few dozen, both on duty and off. I think there's a, a tight bond uh, that we all share within our profession, and I think there's a certain symbolism to it uh, that we all understand that this is a reality of the job. Uh, it's a tragic reality. Sioux Falls Police Chief John Toombs says it's important his agency and others from around the region show their commitment to each other and the profession by paying their respects to Chief Deputy Prorock. But then also saying, you know, we have the watch from here. We'll carry on the good work. We'll carry on uh, the service that, that they displayed and honor their memory in doing so. The family knows we support them. The community knows we support them. But I just think it's important to be there for his last farewell, for his last radio call. Minnehaha County Sheriff Mike Milstead didn't know Pro Rock, but Milstead met his family yesterday in Chester, where Pro Rock lived. He was so well liked in that community. Everybody knew him. He was, you know, a coach and well known for that. He was at friendly face. He was a caring and compassionate person. He was what everybody wa would want in a law enforcement officer. Milstead is a third generation officer and his son also bears the badge. These things remind me what a dangerous job our men and women in uniform have and, uh, and it's heartbreaking to see something like this happen. Dangerous and heartbreaking, yes, maybe even scary. But Toombs says it's imperative for Sioux Falls officers that never knew Pro Rock to be at his funeral to show the public they are also undaunted by the tragedy and to show there's a human being behind the badge. He was a father, he was a grandpa, he was a husband, he was a brother, he was all these things and the impact uh, that goes on will go on forever for that officer's family and for that agency. Now, Sheriff Milstead presented a $10,000 check to Deputy Prorock's family yesterday on behalf of a group of law enforcement supporters called South Dakota Salutes. The money will cover expenses from the tragedy, and several different law enforcement agencies will be behind the coordination of tomorrow's funeral and procession to Prorock's burial in nearby Nunda. Brian? John Gaskins, thank you.